Who is Muniba Mazari? March 1987. Birth. Muniba Mazari Baloch was born in Rahim Yar Khan, which is in southern Punjab province, Pakistan. January 1988. Ethnicity. Muniba Mazari is from a Baloch background, belonging to the tribe of Mazari. She was raised in a conservative and deep-rooted cultural family. February 1988. Parents. Muniba's father was an artist, and her mother was a strong woman with the responsibility of their house. She had a distant relationship with her father, while on the contrary, her mother was an important figure in her life, especially post-accident. January 2001. Early life. Muniba went to the Army Public School in Peshawar and later attended college in her native hometown for a bachelor's in fine arts. She was a bright girl and keen on arts and painting. November 2005. Marriage. At the early age of 18, before she could complete her studies, she was married to a pilot in the Pakistani Air Force, Karam Shazad, because of her conservative Baloch family. February 2008. The Setback. At the age of 21, Muniba and her husband met with a terrible car accident while traveling from Kueta to Rahim Yar Khan. She sustained major spine injuries and several others, due to which her entire lower body was paralyzed and left her paraplegic. Just about after two years of getting married, about nine years ago, I met a car accident. Somehow, my husband fell asleep and the car fell in the ditch. He managed to jump out, saved himself. I'm happy for him. But I stayed inside the car and I sustained a lot of injuries. The list is a bit long. Don't get scared. I'm perfectly fine now. Radius ulna of my right arm were fractured. The wrist was fractured. Shoulder bone and collarbone were fractured. My whole rib cage got fractured. And because of the rib cage injury, lungs and liver were badly injured. I couldn't breathe. I lost urinal bowel control. That's why I have to wear the bag wherever I go. But that injury that changed me and my life completely as a person and my perception towards living my life was the spine injury. Three vertebrae of my backbone were completely crushed and I got paralyzed for the rest of my life. So this accident took place in a far-flung area in the outskirts of a very small province, Balochistan, where there was no first aid, no hospital, no ambulance. I was in the middle of nowhere in that toppled car. Many people came to rescue. They gave me CPR. They dragged me out of the car. And while they were dragging me out, I got the complete transaction of my spinal cord. And now there was this debate going on, should we keep it here? She's going to die. Where should we go? There is no ambulance. There was this four-wheeler jeep standing in the corner of the street. They said, put her in the back of the jeep and take her to the hospital, which is three hours away from this place. And I still remember that bumpy ride. I was all broken. They threw me at the back of the jeep and they rushed me to the hospital. That is where I realized that my half body was fractured and half was paralyzed. I finally ended up in a hospital where I stayed for two and a half months. I underwent multiple surgeries. Doctors have put a lot of titanium in my arm. There's a lot of titanium at my back to fix my back. That's why people in Pakistan call me the Iron Lady of Pakistan. May 2008, finding hope. While lying on a hospital bed with a broken body, Mazari began to paint in order to distract herself. She started painting to add some colors to the sad, dull moments. It was painting that kept her alive. April 2010, fighting life. 
Being bedridden for 2.3 years, she moved to a wheelchair with help of treatment and physiotherapy. Her mother motivated her through this darkness, saying, This too shall pass. God has a greater plan for you. I don't know what it is, but he surely has. January 2011, Motherhood. Four years after the accident, Muniba adopted her son, Nail, giving her a strong reason to live. After experiencing motherhood, she became a social activist working for children's rights and education, and woman empowerment. March 2014, Drifting Relationships Her husband divorced her because of her disability, and she was left alone with her adopted son. Not only her husband, but her father also left the family in such pain. Though, she considers her pain beautiful, since it allows her to connect with others also in pain. July 2014, The Iron Lady of Pakistan Mazari's motivational speech at a TEDx event organized in Islamabad propelled her into the public eye. She urged people not to give up on life and talked of the need to eliminate gender inequality and discrimination. December 2014, Working in Media PTV's director found her through Islamabad TED Talk and offered her a job in the network. She worked in the program Clown Town that dealt with children and old people. Muniba also became a national anchor person and hosted the May Nahi Hum inspirational program on Hum News. December 2015, Spreading Wings. Muniba became the national ambassador for the UN Women Pakistan after being shortlisted in the 100 Inspirational Women of 2015 by BBC. She also made it to the Forbes 30 Under 30 list for 2016. January 2016, Muniba as artist. She became an established painter. With the slogan, Let Your Walls Wear Colors, she created her art brand called Muniba's Canvas. She presented her art and paintings in several national and international exhibitions. January 2017, Legal Battle. Her ex-husband, Karam Shazad, sued Muniba in court for defaming him, demanding 10 million Pakistani rubies, 65,000 United States dollars. However, the court dismissed the case in January 2018. April 2017, first wheelchair model. Muniba became a model, fighting her fear of hiding from people. She was chosen by Pons as the Pons Miracle Woman. She was also chosen by the international hairdressing salon, Tony and Guy, to become the first ever wheelchair-using model in Asia. January 2018, Social Empowerment. Dedicated to social work, Muniba participated in several social campaigns in Pakistan, such as Dire Bolo, Dil Say Pakistan, spreading awareness for education and patriotism and unity. She is also appointed to Pakistan's first ever National Youth Council. December 2018, Activism. Muniba has conducted numerous TV programs, events, speeches for acid attack victims, gender issues, girls' education, physically disabled, sexually abused victims, and transgender issues. January 2020, Motivational Speaker. With her powerful, inspiring story and charismatic personality, she has participated as a motivational speaker on various fronts, with her first break being TED Talks Islamabad. March 2021, Looking at Future. Mazari's life-changing experience has turned her into an activist, encouraging women and girls that have experienced discrimination or violence to not fear or fight the pain. She is inspiring people through her art and is working for society. I always say that people are so lucky they don't even realize. You must be thinking, okay, you're lucky in what sense? Well, the breath that you just took was a blessing. Embrace it.
There are so many people in the world who are dreaming to live a life that you are living right now. You have no idea. Embrace each and every breath that you are taking. Celebrate your life. Live it. Don't die before your death. We all die.